Hello guys, what's up? Long time no see. Welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a city called Santiago de Querétaro, which is located in central Mexico. This is the capital of the state of Querétaro and is located two and a half hours away from Mexico City and one hour away from San Miguel de Allende. This is actually one of my favorite destinations in central Mexico. It has everything, it has great climate, good food, the people are friendly, it's a beautiful city, the historic center is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and well, in this video, I'm going to show you around Santiago de Querétaro. I'm going to recommend you places to eat, things to do, and everything you need to know about this city. So are you ready? Let's get started. Hello guys, good morning, welcome to another video. Today I am in Santiago de Querétaro, the capital of the state of Querétaro in central Mexico. This city is famous for its beautiful colonial architecture. It's also one of the safest and one of the wealthiest cities in Mexico. And it's definitely one of my favorite cities in the country. Now, if you want to get here, it's pretty easy from Mexico City. You can only take a bus from there or you can drive also. It takes around three hours to get here and this is one of the best areas in the country because there are a lot of places nearby like San Miguel de Allende, Guanajuato, Peña del Hernal, Tequisquiapan. There are many beautiful small towns near here so it's a great place to come. Uh, also this place is very popular for expats and people that want to retire in Mexico. So if you like to know a little bit more about this city then keep on watching. So right now I am in a street called Jose Maria Pino Suarez, which is one of my favorite streets here in Santiago de Querétaro. It's very, very beautiful. I feel like every time you see a picture from Santiago de Querétaro, you will see this street. It's very nice because you have the Guambillas and you have the cathedral here and it's a very beautiful street. So if you want to take a nice photo, uh, come here. It's in the historic center. So right now I am in Jardín Sanea. This is the main square of the city and it's a very nice place to come and chill. Also people watch. There is a lot of street food here, here so if you like that uh, you will definitely like this place. In terms of prices, Querétaro is actually not that expensive compared to Mexico City, Monterrey uh, or Puerto Vallarta. This destination is actually a lot cheaper. Uh, I'm staying in a very nice Airbnb and it costed me $19 per night actually, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's pretty cheap. Also, if you wanna have a nice meal, if you wanna go to a nice restaurant, uh, it's not gonna be that expensive. There is an area here that is called Juriquilla. Juriquilla is like the most expensive area of the city. And yeah, the prices there will be a lot more expensive. You know, Mexico City prices, Vallarta prices. So, you know, obviously depends which area of the city you are, but in the center, I feel like it's pretty cheap. This church is called El Templo de San Francisco de Asís and it is the very first religious building built in Querétaro. It is considered to be the oldest church in the city and it was built between 1550 and 1598. The historic center of Querétaro is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it's one of the most well-preserved and beautiful historic centers in Mexico. The best way to get around is by foot. The historic center isn't that big, you know, most places of interest are very nearby. Right now I am in one of the main squares. Uh, usually there are some letters here that said Querétaro. Uh, they removed them. I don't know why they were here yesterday and now they're not. If you want to go to the main square of the city or other places that are, you know, interesting, they are very near here. You can just walk 
and it's very nice because when you walk you will see all these beautiful houses with the bougainvilleas and they look so charming so a lot of you guys ask me if it's safe to come to mexico you guys are afraid that i don't know maybe you watch a lot of tv and let me tell you there are some dangerous places but Querétaro is definitely not a dangerous place this is one of the safest city in Mexico that's why a lot of people that want to retire in Mexico choose Querétaro because this city is very very safe you can walk here at night during the day alone uh, no one will bother you nothing will happen to you it's a very safe city so if that's something that concerns you don't worry Querétaro it's very very safe I've been here for a week I walk around with my drone with all my stuff you know I always you know I feel safe you will feel very safe here you are never gonna feel like someone's following you or wants to do something bad to you people here are very welcoming very nice Okay guys, so I am starving and the restaurant that I want to eat, it's not open yet. So I went to a bakery that is very nearby. It's in Ezequiel Montes Avenue and I ordered this. Apparently this is the best seller of the bakery. So let's see how it tastes like. Mm, it smells so good and the bakery smells so amazing. Wow, it's great. It's very good. The chocolate is so good. I highly recommend it. It's very good. Okay, so I came to a restaurant called Tikua. Uh, this restaurant is very highly recommended. And well, I came here and I ordered this panucho. Um, this is a very typical food in the south of Mexico. I think here they have southern food. So let's see how it tastes like. So they also give you some salsas and you know there are many this is a tlayuda this is a very typical uh, thing in mexico oh this one is spicy <coughs> <coughs> okay so my second plate just arrived and i ordered um, three other enchiladas this is three enchiladas and each enchilada has a different color of mole you guys know i love mole mole is very typical of mexico especially southern mexico so this one has a black mole um, brown mole and yellow mole so i'm gonna try first the black mole i think that's usually my favorite mm. it's very mild it's not spicy at all it tastes very good it's chocolatey mm. now i'm gonna try the yellow mole uh, this one has almonds, I think. Mm. Wow, I think this one's much better. This one has so much flavor. Now I'm gonna try the brown mole. Mm. I think my favorite was the black one and the middle one. But they are delicious, they are very good, so yeah, I highly recommend this restaurant. The food is very, very good.
the Querétaro metropolitan area has the second highest GDP per capita in Mexico, only after Monterrey. It is also considered the second best place in Mexico to do business and the fifth best city in Latin America. So now I am in Juriquilla. Juriquilla is the most expensive neighborhood in Querétaro. And well, I actually made a video about this neighborhood. So if you want to know a little bit more about Juriquilla, uh, I'm going to leave the link below. Go check it out. I think you'll like it. But this neighborhood is very nice. There's not that much to see here. This is just an area for rich people. Uh, there are very nice houses. And there's a very nice mall called Antea. And in that mall, you can find very nice um, shops a very luxurious uh, grocery store and just everything related to shopping so I'm gonna fly my drone now and show you how this area looks like from above So now I am in El Mirador de los Arcos. This city is famous for the Aqueducto de Querétaro. This aqueducto has 74 arches and is one of the symbols of the city. And the best place to see it is here, which is called Mirador de los Arcos. It's a very nice place and it has a nice view of the city. You can see Querétaro in all its glory. You can see not only the aqueducto, but also the city. And it's a very nice place to come. Also in front, there is, um, you know, there are vendors, so you can buy some souvenirs and there is a very nice church. So this place is not that far from the historic center. So if you want to come here, you can just walk and it takes around 15 to 10 minutes to get here. I'm gonna try some farts, <laughs> non farts. That's the name of this candy. This is a very typical uh, candy here in Tibetaro. They are chocolate. I don't know why they call them non farts, but I'm gonna try them right now and see how they taste like. This is how it looks like. Mmm. I think it has alcohol. I don't, I'm not sure what kind of alcohol, but I taste, yeah, I can taste some alcohol there. One of the reasons why Mexico is becoming more and more popular with tourists from other countries is because of the food. It's no secret that we have some of the best street food scenes and Querétaro is no exception. You will find very very delicious food here. They also have nice restaurants so if you are more into restaurants let me recommend you this one. This one is called Hacienda La Laborcilla. And it's not in the historic center, you have to take a taxi to get there, but it's so worth it. This restaurant has amazing food. It was one of the highlights of my trip. Oh my god, seriously, the food here is absolutely amazing. If you happen to be new here, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Israel and I make travel videos. I post every two weeks. I wish I could post more often, but making these videos takes time and a lot of effort and love. <laughs> um, 
and your support means a lot to me. If you'd like to support my work, you can go to the description box and you will find my Patreon, my PayPal. Your support means so much to me and I am so thankful for all of you. Thank you very much for watching my content. You guys are the best and I am so happy to make these videos for you all. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I will see you guys on my next video. Take care and stay healthy.